Hey guys, it's Nostalgic Sims here, and as requested today, I'm going to be showing you how to take screenshots and edit them, or at least how I do them. So first, I'm going to start out by showing you my graphic options or settings. And as you can see, they're all on the highest setting, except for like the lots and the trees. It doesn't really matter. But not all computers can handle this, so I would just be careful. I also would like to note that I'm using Amina's HQ mod, and I will link that in the description below. So I already have my sim posed, and now all I have to do now is I'm going to move her to where I want her to be. And to do this you obviously will just do shift Control c move objects on, and click your sim, move her to where you like her to be. I guess I'm gonna have her be right here. So now all that's left to do is lighting. So usually with the lighting, I will use the limelights, which you can find in outdoor lighting. And I'll position them like in the front or like anywhere in front of the sim. You don't really want backlight. So now you're going to press tab and go into first person mode and basically adjust it using WASD and control A or control D, Q and E and then also your mouse to like <laughs> adjust where you want it to be. And my game's running really slow right now so I apologize if it's glitchy. So I think I'm going to just leave it at this, it's pretty basic. Okay so now I'm going to go into Adobe Photoshop CS5 and I'm going to go into my Sims 3 screenshot folders. And I also went back in game and took like different pictures of the same picture and I found one that I liked better. So, so now that it's open, usually the first thing I do is just apply my Photoshop action that I made. But I'm going to actually just show you some basic Photoshop things. I always sharpen my photos and I also use Topaz. I have an action for it, but I don't actually know my Topaz settings, so <laughs> I don't think I can share those with you since I don't know what they are. And after I sharpen it and Topaz it, I want to blur out the background. There's two ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the lazy way. You just um, use the blur tool, and you just go around the edges and blur. I suggest when you're getting closer to the face, you just use like one click with a big brush. And the other way to do this is to use the lasso tool or the selection tool to basically select your sim only and then go to filters and Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to go and if something seems too sharp to me, I'm going to just soften it a bit.
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into adjustments and change the contrast. And then adjust the vibrance. And usually I'll go into a filter and add a lighting effect. I usually use the 2 o'clock spotlight and adjust it to my liking. And I'll also make sure that it's not yellow tinted and change it to white instead. Then you go to levels and sometimes I'll make it a little bit darker and then I'll go to output and I'll raise it. And lastly, I'll go into color balance and I'll change the color. Uh, the I guess you could call it like the tint of the picture to where I want it to be to give it a certain like mood or tone. So this is how I edit my photos. And so now you've got your screenshot. Thanks for watching and I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content.